Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 3. I am the chairman and today we are going to be starting a campaign as Bolivia. We're going to be trying to make Bolivia a great power going up from the 23rd minor power to hopefully into the top 10. Bolivia does get a cool event at the start of the game in which they get to puppet Peru. That is going to be massive for us to expand our economy and is going to be important for us to make it into the great power list. Now, before I get started with this video, I just want to remind you guys to like and subscribe to my channel. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and I need your guys' support in order to do that. Now, without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so first look at Bolivia here. We do have quite a few states that are in the Andes, which is going to be detrimental to our infrastructure and state construction efficiency. We can also see that this state here uh, also gets 15% sulfur mine ability throughput but because it's in the desert it actually gets less infrastructure and less construction efficiency than all of our other states these here they all get that the andes uh, state modifier plus our main capital state of la paz gets a 25% uh, billing hardwood output along with the state of santa cruz we also get this modifier here which doesn't do anything because there's no iron mines whatsoever in our state. So it's kind of a useless modifier. We also start out with these two states to our north, not incorporated into our country. So we want to make sure that we do that right away. In terms of overall money, we are making quite a bit of money at the start here. So of course, we're going to take advantage of that by building it two construction sectors right here in our capital area. Research-wise, we are going to go ahead and go with lathe for the better production methods. In terms of authority usage, we're going to initiate some decrees. So in La Paz, we're going to do road maintenance, promote social mobility, encourage manufacturing industry, and also greener grass campaigns. And then for diplomacy, we can declare an interest. So let's go ahead and declare an interest in La Plata. In terms of our government, we are a military dictatorship and our armed forces are in charge, but we can invite the Catholic Church into our government and we can immediately go for passing religious school so let's go ahead and do that hopefully that'll help out our literacy rate and help out with getting more people qualified for better jobs and as i mentioned here uh, earlier within the first month of the game we are going to go ahead and get this event the Peru bolivia confederation uh pretty much we get to puppet peru for free oh. at the cost of 50 infamy uh, and reducing our relations with six different countries however we puppet them and then we get in addition to our journal here, which after 10 years, we get the fate of Peru, in which we could just integrate Peru, or we could keep them as a puppet. And of course, now our economy is growing you know, quite a bit now that we have puppeted Peru. We're making uh, 3.5 thousand just from Peru paying us money. Okay, and now that we have completed our three construction centers, uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on building up some of our staple goods to improve the standard of living of our people. As we can see here, grain is extremely expensive, so our clothes, amongst other things, such as liquor and the furniture, is a little bit more expensive. But let's actually build up somewhat of a logging industry. We do start out with two logging camps, so let's start out with expanding the one in La Paz and building one in Santa Cruz. Agriculture wise, we do need more grain as it's 27% more expensive. We could build rice farms in either of these states or we could build maize farms in pretty much every other state. So let's go ahead and do that. Build one in at least in each state. And we did just get religious schools. So that's a big bonus here. We will also expand on our tooling industry in La Paz by just upgrading that up to one. And then we will build a textile manufacturing here and expand our furniture manufacturing here as well. For our production methods to kind of help out with the overall production of grain, as it's still expensive, we are going to go ahead and swap over to harvesting tools and help out the overall production. Hopefully bring down the cost of grain just a little bit more. We are making quite a lot of money, so I am actually going to lower our taxes down all the way that we can just to kind of improve upon our standard of living. Interestingly enough, even when we increased our tools and the overall production of our grain, it actually went up by 33%. So we might actually, yeah, we're going to ha actually have to import some grain. 
just to kind of make it a little bit cheaper and help out our general population with the standard of living. We did just build our very first textile mill, so that is dropping the price of clothes quite significantly. It was up by 70%. Now it's nearly halved. We did just swap over to dye workshops. That's going to give us a little bit of extra clothes. And for our furniture manufacturers, we are going to go ahead and go with the lates again to basically lower the cost of those. Now looking at our market, again, I want to bring rain down a little bit more. Same can be said about fish and clothes. Actually expand on a couple rice farms here. So we'll build one, we'll build two in La Paz and one in Santa Cruz. And as for clothes, this textile mill, we are going to build one in Santa Cruz. Probably increase, yeah, we'll go ahead and build one more fishing wharf. Hopefully that helps that out or helps out our fishing market. We are going to have to import a little bit of wood also in our country. We have an input good shortage. Do a resource boom in Santa Cruz. It's going to be improving all of our industries here. As for our livestock ranches, we are going to go ahead and go with intensive grazing ranch to get some fertilizer. We're going to swap over to soil enriching farming on both our rice and our maize farms. In terms of fun, exciting things going on in the world, like the British and the French are at war with each other. Uh, over what? I do not know. Ah, right, here we go. The Marina Kingdom. France is defending Madagascar. So down here is Britain wants to take, or just wants to open up their market, and then they're going to take Picardy as a treaty port from the French. Now, looks like our fertilizer, we're having an input good shortage here. So we're going to have to start working on that. We can either build up a, just a chemical plants industry, or we could build up iron and sulfur mines, which I'm thinking I'm, I am going to build one sulfur mine here and one iron mine here also, just to kind of get those industries started. And from there, I am going to go ahead and build a chemical plant here in La Plata. Okay, and 10 years have passed since the start of the game. We get the Beta Peru, where we can just annex them, and 33% of, of the population in Lima becomes more radical, where we can just keep them as a puppet. I'm personally going to go ahead and annex Peru. We're going to become Peru Bolivia. And now we have an extra construction sector that we and also some different production methods that we originally did not have let's go ahead and change this and because we did just integrate Peru we are going to have to incorporate all the states that we did just integrate let's go ahead and do that and after annexing Peru we now have 5.2 million GDP with about 3 million people living in our country and our standard of living has gone up to impoverished uh, as opposed to struggling earlier and we are now the 21st great power in the world. Well, minor power. Oh, and looks like Brazil wants to actually fight us. Uh, they want to take Peruvian, Bolivian, Amazonas. And they also just want to conquer a few states of ours. Uh, in retaliation, I'm going to go for their Amazonas war reparations. And then maybe conquering Mato Grosso if we end up at war with them. And when we get to the swaying phase, I oh, do not like how France is debating. There's probably going to end up siding with Brazil. We'll offer an obligation to the Netherlands. Oh, and we could get the British also, which I could give them a treaty port, which honestly I am all down for. Which let's give them a treaty port in Paraiba. In Brazil, I believe, yeah, they start out with 38,000 battalion or 38 battalion professional troops and 29. Uh, conscripts, we do start out with about 30 regulars and three conscripts. And it looks like the United States actually ended up siding with uh, Brazil here. I would be able to get New Granada, but uh, we are out of maneuvers. And it looks like we are going to end up going to war with, with Brazil here. I really didn't expect to go to war so early on, but here we go. Hopefully our boys could kind of hold out against the Brazilians as we just played defensively here. I will have to import more guns, however. Let's do that from the British who we are fighting alongside and same with artillery. And we did just get the British here, so we do outnumber the Brazilians. However, we did lose part of our state here. 
and the American troops are actually kicking down the British troops. Oh, that's not good. However, Netherlands is actually the one that's kicking butt here. And now the British are pushing into this, the interior of Brazil. I am also going to promote my general and actually have him advance from the north because my AI allies seem to have the south on lockdown. So might as well open up an additional front and actually push here. Kind of spread their forces very thin. And our allies are single-handedly winning the war in the south for us. Meanwhile, up north, our guys, they're like getting pushed back, but then pushing one state forward or one tile forward. So it's just a back and forth up here. Oh, the United States is out, which means this war all of a sudden became super easy. And Netherlands is officially out of the war. That's unfortunate. However, we will do our best to maintain the push to the south as we push onwards to Rio de Janeiro. And we are just pushing through Brazil with minimal resistance, if none at all. Oh, and our British buddies are officially out of the war. That is no bueno. So if I were to make peace now, why would the British just leave? All right, here's the plan. We're going to set this army to defensive. We are going to go ahead and conscript you troops. Recruit an additional general here. Mobilize. Mobilize him to be offensive. Hopefully push the front in Rio de Janeiro quick enough in order for our army to actually hold ground here. And Brazil moved their army here. Brazil is getting close to capitulating now. And we officially won our war and we have doubled in size. Now, both of these states, this one's really good for agriculture. Of course, it's part of the Amazon. So we got hardwood output and we have almost, we have 180,000 people living here. The Amazons, however, we have about 56,000 people living here. And we only get the hardwood output. Now, in terms of buildings, we do have a university. Uh, I am actually going to downsize this and get rid of that entirely. Same with this one government administrative building. And then we have a ton of money that we're working with here because we aren't building anything. Uh, looking at our market, we need more tools. So let's get more tools along with clothes and chairs. So tooling industry. Uh, yeah, La Paz. One more textile mill here. We already have two chairs there. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll build a uh, furniture manufacturing in Santa Cruz. Because we're actually making so much money, granted 6,000 of that's coming from Brazil. Uh, let's build an additional construction sector here and one in Lima or Lima. We'll bump both of those up to the top here. And for decrees, we are going to gently welcome the people here in the Amazons and in Mato Grosso. And you can just see the devastation of the state, unfortunately, and also in the Amazon. I will also bump up my taxes just a little bit and initiate a services tax just to get some a little, little bit extra money here. All right next. For some of our industry, we are going to go ahead and build a coal mine. Uh, let's start getting some of that going. And we will also build a paper mill here in La Paz, along with a glass workshop to kind of get those going. And we'll also get an arts academy here also to we'll expand that to two. You have to get some, you, we do have to get a university going. So we'll do that in La Paz, Santa Cruz, Lima, just to put it. Put universities in some of our larger states to increase qualification. Now, for our government, we're going to kick out the Catholic Church and invite the intelligentsia. The reason we're going to do that is because we're going to start doing other laws such as landed wealth, uh, landed voting, or even wealth voting. We're just going to do landed voting. Just kind of get started. And our color is a nice pink. And we have 1.17 million people living in our country, or at least in this state, and about 2 million GDP is coming from our capital state here, which <laughs> comes up to 35% of our total GDP of 5.7 mil. All right, we are making quite a bit more money. Oh, now we also have landed uh, landed voting. Of course, our flag changes, and we are technically a republic. And we also get the free trade party and a conservative party. So let's invite the conservatives in, which include the landowners, the petite bourgeoisie, and the industrialists. Uh, to be part of the free party, which include the intelligentsia, uh, industrialists, so forth. Whoa, hold on. They're not joining their 
designated parties, I mean, it should fix itself. This means that we could definitely pass some more laws and a lot faster now. We'll just have the rural folks. So we have a completely balanced government in which everybody is represented here. Minus the trade unions, but we, we don't care about them. Okay, and then for, we can actually do a trade agreement with Chile, which I think actually might be beneficial to us. Kind of encourage them to trade with us a bit more, which... Actually, we lost a little bit of money. Now, before we built this arts academy and a couple of universities, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to build a couple of tobacco plantations because our population is actually spending quite a bit on tobacco. So we got, they're spending about 33% on tobacco, at least for the lower strata. Middle strata, we have about 34%. So let's go ahead and start working on some tobacco here. So build two plantations here. One in Caja Monica, and then we'll build a couple of coffee ones. Also, we have one already in La Paz, build one in Caja Marca, and one here in this state. We will begin exporting dyes actually to the French because it's going to make us a lot of money here. Now, building a food industry or groceries in La Paz and Mato Grosso, uh, I believe that's how we make liquor. We're looking at the buildings here. Canneries, jars, blah, blah, blah. no food industry. How do I make like? Let's look at our market. Ooh. And we did just have an election, so let's. We can reform the government, but there's not really anything to reform. However, we could maybe pass a law here. Yeah, maybe let's try and swap over to wealth voting, kind of weaken our landowners a bit more. Now, looking at our markets, uh, where is liquor 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 here it is liquor is produced yeah in food industries rye farms assistance farms assistance orchards and pasture no why is it not giving me the option for liquor here in the food industry ah here we go hot stills so we'll immediately start out with that and of course we're going to need some sugar so might as well get some sugar plantations kind of accommodate that also get some fruit plantations too we'll expand on the one here and we did just get wealth voting which does radicalize our landowners and armed forces but it does benefit our industrialists and intelligentsia and kind of weakens out the other parties we also need more clothes so let's get some more textile mills Ooh, we got the voice of the nation because now we have an arts academy in La Paz and we get plus 20 prestige. So now we're ranked 20th uh, minor power in the world. We're getting up there. Also build some shipyards. We kind of need some clippers. We'll build two here, one in this state. I think that should be an Oh, and now we're ranked 18th in the world. 7 million G GDP. People still impoverished. 3.5 million people living here. And a 43% literacy rate. And our economy just went boom. Uh, oh, that's because uh, investment transfer pool. That's why. Okay. Basically, some of the money or items that uh, or resources that were bought for a specific building were not used so they got reallocated into an additional or into a different building at least that's how i understand it so we ended up making money we do have the one iron mine however we are going to need more so let's go ahead and start building two more here get another free university i could actually try and puppet argentina however i'm Kind of more interested just conquering the state here because our one state of uh jujui is kind of split in half between us and argentina i could sway the french they'll give me uh, for an obligation however uh, i might just do that just so that way they don't join argentina's side and while i'm at it i'll add alto paraguay as an additional war goal I can also get Russia to join me. Oh, Brazil wants a piece of this. So let's go ahead and get Russia. Or no, they want a treaty port in Ecuador. I don't know if I want them to have that. But since Ecuador is here, I'd like to puppet Ecuador. No. Can I conquer, I think, from Ecuador? Uh, how many maneuvers do I have? I have 25 remaining. So we'll actually leave Ecuador alone. And sure, we'll just sway the Russians just so that way the Argentina doesn't get them. And hopefully they just back down. They are fearful and we do outnumber them quite a lot. We're actually going to fight this war. Oh my god. Argentina, this is the worst decision of your life. Our French comrades are pushing through Ecuador pretty quickly. Brazil, they're not doing anything for whatever reason, luckily. And then we are plowing right through Argentina like they're nothing. So Ecuador, they're about to peace out. And now the French are going to go ahead and start fighting the Brazilians. And now Russia has a treaty for here. Great job, Russia. 
Chile wants a defensive pack. Uh, no. Sorry, buddy. Not in the mood for a defensive pack. Oh, and Argentina did just capitulate to us. And now, yeah, we're going to start fighting the Brazilian. Hopefully this goes well. We did just lose that battle. I'm going to set my guys to defense up here. We, our French buddies get here. Uruguay's out of the war. Now it's just us versus Brazil. And now I could support an additional interest. So we'll do that in Grand Colombia here. Chile wants to be a friend. Okay, Chile. Yeah, we could be friendos. And we'll just do white peace with Brazil. Okay, and we will just bump up our taxes again to medium taxes here. And also impose a tax on luxury clothes. We actually start importing some grain. And say with clothes, we have to import some clothes. And same with furniture. Which... Would you look at that? Scandinavia formed and Italy also formed in our game. And the Dutch East Indies is independent. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, the yeah, they're independent. That's interesting. And now they're this weird blue teal green color. And we're at World Natives down here because Chile is colonizing here. I would like to think Chile has this, but watching their battles, they definitely do not. Don't worry, Chile. I'll bust you out. Okay, and Chile just annexed that entire uh, Native American population there. And I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see the second video, make sure you guys hit the like button. I'm going to set a like goal for, you know, we'll say 100 likes. And then I'll come out with part two of this video and continue this campaign. And make sure you guys also subscribe and share this video. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Chairman out.